Hey guys! Well, today on Ratty Rambles, I'm going to discuss cages with y'all. Um, when you first pick out a cage for your rat, you first need to decide how many rats you are getting, um, your how much rats your cage could hold, what kind of cage you want, what your price range is, um, where you're going to get it, uh, male or females, males tend to use more space, what kind of bedding you'll use, whether or not you'll want a uh, corner potty, um, where to hang the water bottle, where to put the food, and hammocks, and etc. Okay, the first kind of gauge, cage you should always want to get are the wire cages. Tanks suit well for, you know, hospital cages or, you know, nursery cages as so long as they're wiped down every day. Um, you know, they have the uh, tank topper in case, you know, if you have a mom, she can run up and she can get away from the babies, eat, drink, do whatever. Um, but overall, tanks are not good uh, cages to have for rats because their urine will build up and the urine is so strong that it will actually hurt the rat's respiratory system. Um, where could you get your cage? There are a number of places that you can get your cage, such as um, Martin's Cages, PetSmart, Petsco, Craigslist, you know, you can contact someone on a rat forum. You can even find some at garage sales. But you always should know the dimensions, and there's even a ratty cage calculator, which I think is pretty cool. And that's how I know uh, if I'm using enough, s or if I buy a new cage, if there's enough room for my girls, or if there's not enough room, or if there's room I could hang a hammocks. Another thing is, most rats do love hammocks. If you hang up the hammocks, they will snuggle in and they'll have fun. Um, Things you could put in the cage, such as fleece on the uh, shelves that they walk on so they don't catch bump or not catch, pardon me, so they don't contract bumblefoot from walking on the wires. It, um, it creates ulcers and I think they open or something. Uh, I'll get into de later detail, but it's really not healthy for them to be walking on wire. So you can cover that with, you know, linoleum if you're really handy or, um, you know, fleece. But uh, what kind of cage should you get? Well, you know, as a rat owner, the most amazing cage to me right now is the Martin's Rood, R-U-U-D. It is huge. I mean, it can hold several, several rats. And it's tall and they can climb and there's lots of hammock space and the Critter Nation. Now the difference between the Ferret Nation and the Critter Nation is that Ferret Nation was made for ferrets. And the bar spacing is probably about an inch and the rats can't climb up the sides. But um, Critter Nation just recently came out and I think the double unit's like somewhere around 250? I'm not quite sure. That's my dog. Hmm. Um, another thing is, uh, Mark's cages are, they're made well, you know, they last a long time. You should always get the powder coated, uh, not the galvanized because that generally soaks up urine and blah, blah, blah. Um, Another thing is, another place to go could be, you know, eBay. eBay has lots of great, you know, cages for sale, and it, all the shipping and the price depend, you know, on the cage itself. Uh, you can look at, for cages at garage sales in your neighborhood, Craigslist. In a moment, I'll, yet again, I don't know where I'd point for the, um, maybe it's that way, or maybe it's that way, I don't know, both. Um, I'll put the Ratty Cage Calculator, Craigslist, Martin's Cages. Petco, PetSmart. Uh, a couple really good cages I've heard of are the um, Super Pet Exotics, or it's the exotic cage from PetSmart or Petco, somewhere along that. Um, if you're really low on money, then I think there's one called the Preview Flight Cage, and it's 50 bucks, but the Exotics one I was just talking about, I think it's blue and black. Ha, huh, blue and black. Um, and I think it can hold up to three, four females and two, three males. I'm not quite sure though. But I heard it's really well, you know, males don't chew through it and there's a lot of room and it's big and it's only $99 or so. Um, another really good rat cage is the Rat Manor. Um, right now I have a cheap cage that will hold, that says it should house two females and I'm about to get another one. So I'll post pictures of it later, but I'll post at least for the Craigslist and 
everything else. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to message me. Live long and boggle.